uh, my father to USCIS for the last four months, a spousal visa. My wife applied for me. I'm in Bangladesh. A few days ago, something bad happened at New, oh, New York by a Bangladeshi. Uh, will it create any problems for my father? Uh, you know, the short answer is no. Uh, these things happen. Um, if you're talking about uh, the guy who uh, ran over some people on a bike path, he was already a green card holder. And yes, uh, you know, was, uh, he was already here. Um, what I would say, the short answer is no. The longer answer is we are seeing uh, delays in, uh, since we got the new administration in January, we are seeing delays uh, in across all petition types. And uh, although there's no stated reason for this, we can assume, and, and what we see from the RFEs, request for evidence we get is, there is more scrutiny, but we're not seeing it directed towards any particular countries, uh, certainly not Bangladesh. So my short answer would be no, I don't think that that's gonna cause any heightened awareness or heightened uh, scrutiny. Uh, that's a very good question and a common question because when we see these things happen, we often get that, uh, you know, the big, there was a big shooting a while back in California that the person that came here on a K-1 visa and we got a lot of questions in, is that gonna impact the K-1 visa? And now in hindsight, we can say it absolutely did not. And so, uh, you know, we obviously we don't have insight into the internal workings of, of these organizations that are going to handle your case. But uh, our experience is, no, it won't have an impact.